Well, Clatt is here because we need to talk about this. Yeah. Uh, could you see Arizona passing on Kyler? No, I don't buy it. I don't buy that at all. In fact, what I actually buy more and actually makes a thousand percent more sense is that these are reports closer to the organization to help out with value. Okay, so in the next three days, that's the most value that Josh Rosen is going to have in NFL circles, uh, maybe, maybe ever, pending the way he plays moving forward. But when you think about it from Arizona's perspective, right now is the most value they're going to have for the pick itself or for Josh. Hmm. And so if they're going to move on, I absolutely believe that they've, they've settled on Kyler Murray. He's a good fit for Cliff Kingsbury. You don't bring in Cliff Kingsbury, who is barely a 500 coach at Texas Tech, unless you're going to give him – his fit moving yeah. forward. You don't bring him in just because of his acumen as a head football coach. Mm -hmm. Even though I think he can do well at the next level, we might see that that bump, but you got to give him his quarterback. So if it's Kyler moving forward, now you got to th think about the value of what Josh is. And right now they've gotten second round offers for this uh, trade perspective. They want a first. Well, how do you do that? You start floating out ideas like, well, we might stay with Josh. And so that the Washingtons of the world or the Miamis or the New York Giants of the world are going to say, no, 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 we like Josh. Let's go ahead and give that first round pick and then we'll go from there. So for me, this is 100% draft posturing mm -hmm. the week of the draft. It's about value and it's about value for Josh Rosen and Arizona moving forward. Mm. Shannon Sharp. You're not, get Skip, they're not going to get a first round pick because I know you need to get rid of the couch because you're about to buy a new one. Mm. So I'm not going to give you one you're going to discard. I know that. Everybody else knows that. That Josh Rosen is not going to be your quarterback. Everything <clears throat> that Joel just said is that you bring uh, a Cliff Kingsbury in, he has a specific type of offense he wants to run. Who better than the guy that won the Heisman Trophy basically running that offense to come in and get that job. It's him. They're taking Kyler Murray. You, 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 your poker face, look. We know you got the goods. We already know you, we, you got a hand that we can't beat. You're not going to bluff us. You're not going to get any more money by value betting, okay? Just go ahead and take that second round pick because as Joel said, we get closer and closer to the draft where it might be down to a third round pick. So the best thing for you to do is get something for someone that you really don't want, Kyler Murray's going to be your quarterback. Josh Rosen is going is not going to be there. Go ahead and get what you possibly can now, because as we get it gets to Tuesday, it gets to Wednesday, it gets the day of the draft. You're not. It's not going the other way. It's not going to be a third, a second, and a one on draft day. It normally goes the other way. It starts out as a first, second, and as we get closer to the draft, third, fourth. I believe you get, can get a second right now, maybe a third on draft day. But mm. Kyler Murray is going number one overall. Mm. I agree with both of you, and I want to point out for the record that the report in the Arizona Republic was actually a column by Kent Summers in which he was just recommending That's right. they not draft Kyler Murray. It was more speculation okay. than it was report. Well, well, it wasn't even speculation. He was just going off the last press conference that Cliff did, yeah. you know, where, yeah. where they just said, we're unsure. So he said, well, you should be unsure because you shouldn't take Kyler Murray. <laughs> not, not taking Kyler Murray would be the biggest mistake this organization has ever, ever wow. made. And I would suggest this. Let's just do the hypothetical. What if they do pass? What if they take one of the, the rush, you know, the, either Bosa? It would be Bosa, or, right? I mean, that's okay, the only other or, one that has he, that value. He was pushing for Quinn and Williams, but whatever. Take one of those two. That would mean John Gruden would say, thank you, God, I'm taking Kyler Murray. Yeah. I believe he would. I think he'd jump all Absolutely. over it, and the next guy up for sale would be his quarterback, Derek Carr. So we were all in agreement on that, but now that brings us down to the sixth pick, and you're still hanging in with Dwayne Haskins going to I am. Go. My latest mock, I still have mm -hmm. Dwayne Haskins going with New York, but I am not confident in that right really? now. I think that, for me, that was more of a, this is what I think they should do okay. versus what I'm hearing. Um, right now, my confidence level in New York making that pick is below 50%. Really? In fact, I think Ooh. I'm getting towards... The the guys and this is this is crazy because I think this could set this player up for for a really poor start to his NFL career. 
I'm starting to expect New York likes Daniel Jones more than Haskins and might turn that card in at number six, okay. which would be crazy in my estimation. But so, yeah, I mean, that I stuck with Haskins. That's a this is what I think you should do type of a deal. OK, but does that mean that New York would, be, would fear that Denver would take him? Denver has done a lot of homework on two, on two Daniel guys, Jones? Daniel Jones. Well, really three, Drew Locke and Dwayne Haskins. Mm -hmm. I know Cincinnati is a team that quietly really likes Dwayne Haskins as well. So I don't think yeah. Haskins will fall past Cincinnati. But mm. to, to me, I think that the Giants are playing with fire. You did not address the quarterback position when you had what I thought was a generational talent last year with Sam Darnold. Now at six, if they go in a different direction and go pass rusher at six, what, I mean, seven. I guess they're going quarterback at 17, but who's going to be there? Mm. Skip, I don't know who's going to be there at huh. 17. Mm. I'm going to say it again. Man, if I go ahead. No, Skip, I was going to say, if let's just say for the sake of argument, we do the hypotheticals here. Arizona does not select Kyler Murray. And someone's going to shoot up the San Francisco slot. Maybe the Giants do that. Maybe they like Kyler. Do you think they, they could possibly like Kyler, give that first, uh, the 6 and 17 to get Kyler at two and swap uh, places with San Francisco? Joe, I think it's more likely. Or do they that, not love? Kyle? I, I think that that Gettleman as a GM is much more of a traditional pocket passer, tall I, type. I agree. I could see so, them so if they were the going to give value. Coach. I think that they would rather have Rosen than they were than they would say, okay, let's give up the farm Kyler. now to go get Kyler Murray. Mm -hmm. So to me, I don't think the Giants are are in the market for Kyler. I, I think that if he was not picked, which I think he's going to be the pick for Arizona, but if he was not picked, I agree with Skip. I think Oakland would be the spot for Kyler. Mm. I'm going to say it one more time. I do not believe Dwayne Haskins is worthy of the sixth pick in the draft. So New York, between rock and hard place, they desperately need a quarterback. But I think they're starting to think, is this really the guy? Is this our franchise quarterback for the next 10, 12 years? Mm -hmm. Not sure. He did a lot of dinking and dunking to his track team of a receiving core at the <laughs> Ohio State. And we saw them all go run combine times of four twos, threes, yeah. fours, right? It, okay. Incredibly impressive. I mean, it was incredibly impressive. And I'm going to say it again. I don't love Daniel Jones. I don't love Drew Locke. I watch him a lot. I just watch TV. Mm -hmm. I don't watch coaches' tape. But I did not see franchise quarterbacks in either. I think you're trying to read something in that is not there. Maybe it will be. Daniel Jones looks like he's got more athletic ability and maybe more upside. He's a bigger kid. And he's got the Cutcliffe connection got, with the Mannings. And I think I is think, that is that know, good or bad? I well, who know. knows, right? Uh, but I do know this: he's mechanically he's probably the most most sound quarterback yep. in the draft. He's probably the safest pick. He can operate a system from the pocket. <laughs> he can control the game from the pocket. I don't think he's a franchise guy. I, I agree with you. I think the Giants are stuck, which is mm -hmm. why I will always contend. And this is, you know, as, as controversial as you can get. They made the wrong pick last year. Mm. Saquon Barkley was the best player in the draft. The Giants made the wrong pick. Yeah. The, 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 those two statements can both be true because guess what? You're still stuck in the same spot. What are you doing at quarterback? Shannon, they got to have a signal caller back there or else Saquon's never going to have the value that he should have. Mm. Mm. Because, but they're, they're, they're hell bent on Eli. Eli did something no one thought he could do. And they're going to let Eli ride those two Super Bowl wins <laughs> over Tom Brady for perpetuity. They know they need to move on. Mm. They, he can sit here and say Eli is still the guy all he wants to until he's blue in the face. Since le Eli's last Super Bowl, mm. he's gone to the playoff once, and he didn't win that game. So all that Dave Smoke, Dave Gettleman blowing, and I believe that's what it is. I still believe they're going to select a quarterback. Mm. I don't know if it's Haskins, but it's hard for me to believe that they believe that Eli Manning is going to be the guy long-term moving forward. Mm. So finally, I got to take my man Joel to task for his final pick in the first round, Let's number 32 okay. to the New England Patriots. Yeah. Because in his previous mock, he had my guy Will Greer yes, going to be yes, the next I Tom did. Brady. And all of a sudden, he took Shannon's guy, Irv Smith. <laughs> That's right. I did. And, uh, I did. did you have a little conversation off air? No, <laughs> we, did, we did not. We did not. But listen, when, when you... <laughs> When you look at you talked to Shannon, you just talked about the Giants riding with Eli in perpetuity. I mean, New yeah. England is riding with Tom in perpetuity. Now they probably are going to yes. plan for the future a little bit better than what New York has, right? Because that's just what they do. Yep. Remember, they selected a quarterback uh, last year who was sitting there on the third string for them mm -hmm. this year. I, I just when you look at what New England has done 
with Rob Gronkowski. Irv Smith Jr. is not Rob Gronkowski, but they've got to address that. That's the major hole for New England is in the passing game at the tight end or the flex tight end Mm -hmm. position. He's not the blocker that Gronkowski Mm -hmm. is. He's not even the threat in the passing game Gronkowski is. But they've got to do something in that spot on their offense, Shannon, in order to help Tom Brady get back to the position which he's so accustomed to being, which is the AFC Championship game and the Super Bowl.